Joseph Abdallah, a retired narcotics officer and executive director of Code 3 Association, says signs of drug abuse can be found in all sorts of ordinary items. And we'll open up to reveal a compartment inside. Abdallah travels the country with a mobile replica of a teen's bedroom to teach parents how to spot the signs of drug abuse. But the pandemic pushed Abdallah's course online to rallyusa.org. I've spoken with a lot of parents, and they say that if they would have had this uh, before their child became addicted, maybe they could have saved their child. Abdallah says families who have lost teens to drug addiction later found clues they missed, like tiny pieces of plastic in their vacuum cleaner. Same premise as a sandwich bag, but when it's going to be used, the illicit powder in there, the top is either ripped off or the teeth are torn off. Experts say if you suspect addiction, there are many reasons professional help is essential. The risk of overdose uh, and the risk of, of death, it's one thing to read numbers and statistics, uh, it's another thing to actually administer Narcan. Josiah Haken works with New York City Relief, helping people with addiction. The stakes are too high to uh, be avoidant and sort of dismissive. For more free tools to spot the signs of addiction and what to do about it, you can visit rallyusa.org. In Washington, Alexandra Limon.